This is just a short tip how you can convert your blend if selection into a layer mask so you can tweak it even further. So let's start. Hey guys, it's Nemanja and welcome to this really short episode. It's all about converting blend if selection into layer mask for further tweaking on in case you need it. Because I got several questions from you guys how to do it and now I will show you how easy it is to do it. So let's jump straight into Photoshop and let the fun begin. Right guys, we are here in Photoshop and today I will use this image just for this example and of course you can work on any image that you like. So, for example, here I want to replace this boring sky with this one, a little bit more interesting one. So to do that, I need to make the selection of the sky, then create a layer mask or erase that uh, sky and replace it with a new one. So that's like a regular way that you would do this. And for that, you need to know some selection methods in Photoshop. In case you're not familiar with that, you can watch my tutorial about that right here. But today, instead of making selection, I will use a blend if tool. That is a really powerful tool in Photoshop. And I will not go through all what a blend if is, how to use it, etc. Because if you want to know that, I have a full tutorial on blend if right here. So check it out. So let's go here on this layer and just double click on it and you will have this layer style dialog box. And on the lower part here, you have a blend if section. So I will go from gray to blue because I want to mess with the blue colors right here. And I will just reduce the blue so you can see that the sky is gone. So something like this. But as you can see right here, we have some leftovers here and maybe I want to get rid of this too. So we need to move this even more, something like this and press OK and put back another sky. And that's it, we are done. That's how you can use a blend if. But now let's just hide this sky for a moment. Now if I zoom it, you can see that the hat of this cowboy is missing, then some parts here on the horse is missing, here on these uh, rocks, on those parts are missing, etc. So you cannot fix that so easy with the blend if. You could maybe move, this is underscore so you can move this a little bit to the right, but then you will have this problem and etc. So you cannot tweak it so precise. So for that, let's move it here. So for that, we will just transform this blend if selection into a layer mask that we can tweak it even further. So let's uh, bring back the sky. This is really, really nice. Now what we need to do to transform this blend if into a layer mask, just duplicate this layer by pressing Control or Command J to make a copy, then hold Control or Command key and create a new layer. So you will create a new layer just below the current one. Then select both the top layer and the new layer and press Control or Command E to merge two layers together and this is what you get. You will get just the regular layer cut it out. So now you can go and double click on the layer below that uh, has a blend if option applied and just remove it. Just go back to the beginning. So this is what we started with. Now go to the top layer, press Control or Command, click on the layer and you will load this as a selection. Just go to layer down below and create a mask. And we are done. This is how easy it can be done. You can record all these process, all these steps and create an action in Photoshop. So you can do this with just one click with a Photoshop action. So now we can go to the mask right here and go use a brush, white brush, and just bring back the hat like like this, maybe like that, bring back some parts of the horse, parts of the cowboy, this one and these parts right here. And basically, basically we are done. If you want something to fix, you can do it really easily. If you want to cut out parts of the hill, you can do that too, but I don't want it. And this is how easy it is, guys, to transform blend if selection into a layer mask. Okay guys, and that's it. This is just a short tip how to transform your blend if selection into a layer mask to have a possibility to tweak it even further later. If you have any question on this, please let me know down there in the comments below. I will be glad to answer them. Subscribe if you're not already, ring that bell to get notified about all the future episodes and press that like button if you appreciate this content. Right guys, have fun and see you on my next fun tutorial. Bye bye.